Okay, so we're heading, this is Steve and this is Angela and this is Minnie down here, you can't see her. Down here. Uh, we are heading on I-75 South, heading to Tampa and uh, we're gonna break down our week. This is in addition to any other videos we put up uh, on Sunday. This is actually on a Friday and uh, we're going down looking at some uh, motorhomes in Tampa. And uh, just want to kind of, you know, we, we were talking this afternoon or this morning before we left. Yeah. Um, Really, just you know, this is why we stay in the business. At its core, this is the reason why we stay in the yeah. business, and that is, is that the business is simple. And I don't know why anybody would not want to do this business at you know at at the basic level um, for the rest of their lives. I mean, you, I mean, you you have the ability to go out there despite any the FTC rules or whatever. Uh, you have the ability to go out there. Everybody does to work from home 100% of the time, never going to an office, having that commute, the you know, socializing with other coworkers at your office, and you know the dangers of being in an office environment. You know, I, you know, as far as we're concerned, we like we like kind of we, we, we kind of like this, this secluded lifestyle. We haven't been to a movie, and I think we went to the movie the first time last month since before COVID. Oh yeah, it's been years. It's been a long time. We used to we were big movie goers yeah anyways uh, we you know again this is the reason why we stay in the business is that you have the ability to go out there and protect two to, three, two to five families at a minimum working two or three days a week with not a whole lot of uh, lead investment just doing the activity and put up you know uh, the average application in this industry has been mortgage we're not mortgage session is about a thousand bucks. If you're doing two to five families a week, that's two to five thousand dollars a week in, in, in submitted premium. And based on your contract rate, you can figure it out from there. And any way you slice it, Angela, it's it's a few thousand bucks a week to work from home right. to help people. <laughs> you know what we do matters. I mean, what other honorable way other than maybe a first responder or whatever. Um, you know, and then you're, then even with those jobs, you're helping them in present time. What we do is we help the next generation that they leave behind, right? It's a non-tangible, which is a, which is a very honorable thing to do, in my opinion. So, again, people that are looking for to make, you know, I mean, I, there was a time when I was happy to make three, four, four hundred dollars a week, oh, I know. much less a couple of thousand bucks oh, a week. You know, you do that on a regular basis. You're looking at anywhere between fifteen to twenty thousand dollars worth of submitted premium per month. That's a six-figure occupation, and you're doing it from home, folks. And so I, I broke down. I got my finisher's journal here. If you haven't noticed that, we're both doing these now. Uh, uh, excellent. Uh, we're actually doing our own branded version of the finisher's journal. So if you uh, you know if you leave a comment for us in the comment section, we'll do a drawing, and we may send you out a, a year's supply uh, when we finally get them in our hands. But I wrote down your you have to kind of fill in the blanks. Okay. okay. Uh, again, this business is all about. You know, get some leads, make some dials, set some appointments, uh, run those appointments, you got, and write some apps, you get paid, you rinse and repeat, folks. That's it. I mean, you've been on this channel long enough to know that's, 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 the, that's the game here. I don't care if you're doing telesales, virtual sales, face-to-face. -face. The only thing that changes there is where you ring the appointment and the numbers change. Right. Right, the ratio. Right, if you're gonna do face-to-face, -face, your closing ratio or your sit ratio and maybe a closing ratio will be higher than with, than with telesales or virtual. But the flip side of that is you're going to be far more limited because... Very limited. Like right now, you know, in some of the areas that are in our backyard, yep. there's not a whole lot of, you know, we live in a rural part of the state. It, there's only There's only so much, you know, data that's going to be able to get mined from that area because it's just a small area. So yeah. the, you know, so yeah. if I'm only working, if I'm working face to face, I can only go so yeah, I can only right. go, go so far. So when we were in California, we were living in Sacramento basically, and I had to go to Chico. That was my area. That's where my son was going to college, and I kind of wanted to work in the area. You know, it was three hours away. Right. So I'd go, I'd drive for three hours. I've only had a couple of appointments. You know, I'd go up there for one appointment, but if I had a couple of appointments, I got no show on both of them, I'm driving home with nothing. Right. Now the benefit of that was my Stephen was there, so I could take him to lunch and do whatever, but that, that that's the point, is that, you know, leads ebb and flow right. all across the country. They flow in, it doesn't matter what the, who the vendor is, Right. you know, it just they just ebb and flow. So there are gonna be times when you don't have leads in your geographical area, then what? 
Now you're driving four or five or six hours. You're getting a, you're doing a hotel trip, which we used to do years ago. Right. You go into an area, you get on an airplane. We had people that used to get on airplanes and fly to an area. <laughs> Did you remember that? Yeah. No, that, that wasn't that long ago. It was before COVID. We would get on an airplane and fly to Hawaii. We'd work in Hawaii and park it for a week and fly home. Virtual COVID changed all of that when we went to virtual. Now I'm going to do a video. I'll put I'll, I'll put it out on, on this coming Sunday. So if the video is dated, if you'll, you'll figure it out. You'll find it. It's virtual versus telesales. They're vastly different. Vastly different, in my opinion. And you know, again, telesales. So as it goes, you know, face to face is probably the. I don't know if you can really say this or not, Angel. So you can face to face is maybe less work. Because you, you know, back when I was doing face to face, we were buying ten leads, we were booking six appointments, and I'd write three apps every single week. But we're buying a lot more than ten leads now you to run virtual because the numbers are different. Right? So, thank you. So, because the numbers are different. So anyway, you have you have you have face to face, which is probably your, your you know, as Angel said, other than your leads, your results will be better. Your conversion rates will be better if you're face to face. But we would never go back. We would never go back. Right, and you can't. You know, you're still going to be somewhat limited again. I'll, I'll go yeah. back to that point, which is you can still only run so many appointments yeah. in a week. You are still, That's right. you're still going to max it out because you have to physically be there. And you have a cost of wear tearing a car and all that right. stuff and just being out in the public. You know, I mean, COVID was one thing, there'll be something else. Yeah. And so then you got virtual, which I think is, the, you know, is, is the path that we've chosen and 99% of our agents have chosen the virtual path. And then you got beyond that, you got telesales. I won't do telesales. I don't like telesales. I think you got to, no, I'm not saying it doesn't work. It does. But again, more work, same results. And I think you have a big credibility problem in telesales. And, uh, you know, because people, people buy people they like, know, and trust. It's very hard to do that when you're... When they, when they can't see you and you can't see them, so those are my opinions. Apologize for the navigation guy, you know, a, a person in the background. But anyway, so this week you had fill in the blanks. This week I, I have I wrote down we had uh, uh, I don't know how many leads. How many leads did you figure you bought, bought this week? I think I may have added in maybe somewhere between 75 and 85 leads, something like that, 70, okay. 70 ish leads. Something 75, like that. 80 leads, thereabouts, yeah. okay. You set. Sorry, I didn't bring my numbers. You, I know you did. You set 18 appointments, not sit, set, S-E-T. Yeah, um, which was low for me this which week. Which was low, and I don't know how many you've actually um, set on. on. Any ideas? Right back after the commercial. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, so while she's doing that, folks, again, you, you, it's it's this is how you track your business. It's, it's as you determine, you know, whether the leads that you, you know, where your problems are in your business if you have any, right? You you track how many leads you bought. How many appointments you set off those off those leads? So now you have a conversion ratio there, lead type or lead you know, versus uh, you know. You know t- I think I sat on eleven. Eleven. So it's lead type versus appointments set will tell you the your conversion rate, and then set versus sit. If there's a if you're if you're setting a lot but not sitting any, then you have a show up problem. You got right. you got a big no show problem, which means you, maybe you need to figure out your script and set the appointment and lock it down better. So this is how we track our agent's business. So then then you have the set versus sit. That's a different ratio. And then sits versus acts written. Right. Family's protected. If you know if you're sitting with a lot of people and not not writing any apps, then that's the problem. That's what we need to take a look at. So that's how we we work we would work with an agent. So out of 18 appointments you sat with 11, that's pretty good. You had seven no-shows, right? Yeah. And out of 11, uh, you, you sat with 11, you wrote five. So that's about 50%. Yeah. That's about, that. that's what, we, that's, that's what we're looking for. You know, especially for, you know, uh, I mean, it's just, your, 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 uh, your app ratio is usually higher. This, this is an off week, like you said it was. Yeah. You, you usually track 75%. Yeah, I usually do. Like uh, if I get ratio. them, Unless there's some sort of an anomaly, like I had two of my sits yeah. that, well, it may I may have had more than this, but there were two that really stuck out in my mind from yesterday 
uh, because I managed to kind of claw myself, claw my way to, I think, five appointments yesterday or six appointments yesterday because it was just, it was just really slow getting them going on that particular day. But there were two that, you know, they were, they were older people and they were so confused about what this appointment was about and they just had no, they either had no need or they had recently bought and it wasn't something that I could replace for, you know, a legitimate reason and so there was really no point to even, like, they were really just kind of confused. They kind of booked the appointment because, you know, oh yeah, okay, free buck. So th that's, you know, like you were talking about, there's, there's going to be anomalies in there and there's going to be weeks that are anomalies. Yeah. You're going to have weeks in there where... Yeah. You know, not you're not gonna have week after week after week, but you're gonna have out of four weeks in the month, you're gonna have one or two weeks where we said it yesterday. The only thing constant about this business is change. Yeah. You know, people, our agents get hung up in this stuff, and you know as well. And that is, is that well, I thought you guys were working, you know, so and so's leads. We were last week yeah. or last month. We're not working on any of their leads anymore because things change. Lead quality changes. Lead, uh, you know, uh, the availability the, changes. Ge geographic area changes. I mean, you may have success over here. It's like the old, you know, analogy, biblical analogy. You know, you know, you know, you're you're in a boat, and you, know, you determine where the fish, the fish are biting, you know, biting, biting. You may be on the left side, the right side, or front, you know, front or rear, right? You never know, really know. So cast your your net somewhere else. That, that's the same thing. That implies that same thing. I don't know. It's about botch that thing to death, but uh, you get the general idea. Is it leads ebb and flow, both in quality, geographical area, vendors. You're constantly going to be moving around to find that new place yeah. uh, to drop your anchor, drop your line, and, and, and catch you some, some fish. That's why we always recommend getting a mixture of leads rather than staying on one lead, one vendor, because some people do that too long and they bankrupt themselves rather than the business. Right. So I like to be able to work, and I tell the new agent, you know, even in your local area, if you want to work your local area, you know, mix it up a little bit. You get some in your, your neighborhood and four or five neighbors are, you know, out further out because you know, I, I find success is, you know, you, you find these little pockets of places where you work that you really connect with individuals, right? So anyway, uh, that's, but that's the point. So out of the, out of the 11 uh, appointments, you wrote uh, five ads for about $5,000. Again, those are, those are averages. Yeah. The average that's a thousand bucks. You, you wrote some that were five, 600 bucks. You wrote some that were important that. Yeah. So you're, 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 you know, while your app, uh, Count was low. You still wrote five thousand. That's usually your goal. Five to ten thousand bucks a week. Again, you know, I think that not to kind of jump ahead, but kind of to jump ahead. Yeah. Is we work. Um, we we have kind of a flex day on Monday because there's usually and clearly on Fridays too. As well. No, seriously. We, 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 our goal is to work day. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. If we don't get it done, then we're going to put it on Monday, and we might put it on a Friday. Right, like Mondays are usually, you know, we're kind of recuperating from whatever we may have been doing over the weekend, or, or dealing with some pending stuff from the week before, or uh, we're usually both in the office, but we're not as, I'm not as committed, you know, I'm, I don't feel as, uh, I don't feel the pressure of, I've got to make sure that I get six to eight appointments, and run those all like I usually try and work in three to five appointments it's it, again it's just a little bit more flexible of a day and then Tuesday Wednesday Thursday we follow the schedule that we work and uh, work pretty much all day and run our appointments in the evening um, we don't you know, we take some time off to, in the middle of the day, not really time yeah. off, but to, you know, That's grab. That's about this business. We work our lives around our business. Yeah. Um, or our business around our lives, actually. Yeah. It's a better way to put it because, you know, that's, we have things we, we enjoy doing and things we have to do and need, and need to right. do. And we're able to do that between, you know, uh, booking appointments and running those appointments. So we're, you know, and then we get no-showed. We go, you know, yeah. you're going to get no-showed on virtual just like you get no-showed in face-to-face -face or whatever. Then we kind of work those things in. But again, it's, a, it's an incredible, flexible lifestyle yeah. and yet you can still make a couple thousand bucks a week with minimal effort right that's the key and we've proven it over and over again folks we're not new at this we've been doing this for a long time we've got a lot of agents that we've mentored and coached over the years and uh, to, do, to do the exact same thing um and you know like anything else it's a business it's, it, you gotta save for any days you know you, because things are gonna ebb and flow you know if you if you have a fifteen thousand dollar week then you need to put some money back 
because there's gonna be weeks where you have a thousand dollar weeks. Right. It's like you gotta you gotta switch it. You know, change the hat from from uh, being a nine to five to be a business owner. Yeah, so if you thought that, or if you are in this business now and you're frustrated or you're feeling, you know, you're questioning it, I think what you really have to, and, and, and even as I say this, the disclaimer is we go through it too. Like yeah. the emotional sometimes of, you know, the questioning, uh, you know, and that's when you have to make sure that you spend time either in a good book or taking some time to kind of catch your breath. Like this week was a this week was a bit of a roller coaster week. I mean, it was just kind of, you know, it wasn't it was just kind of ho hum. Yeah. And yesterday, hey, guys, this is a, go ahead. Yesterday, uh, my last appointment was at six o'clock, and that's um, a lie actually. Where your last appointment pulls you out the whole day. Right. I mean, I wrote yeah. The my the well, it wasn't a stellar app, but you no. you finished the day with an app. I finished the day with an app, and then my that was the my five o'clock or my five fifteen, and my six o'clock was a very quick appointment. I had to reschedule it to accommodate another person, and um, so I was done at six thirty. It was kind of nice. Like we went home and you know we spent some time at the house and had dinner and. It was kind of an early night and walked around our yard walked around in our yard and today we decided that we just needed to kind of take a little bit of a mental health day and kind of re re regroup a little bit yeah and that's what this we, business gives us yeah. and and that's why i would never i just have no desire to do i would never else. i would never i'm unemployable and angela said totally like, see you would not you wouldn't you wouldn't survive a job and i wouldn't you know, because oh. there's so many other alternatives, so many other options that, 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 that you know, you couldn't pay me enough to, to, to work a job because I have full control of my lifestyle. It may not appear to be that way all the time because we are working too. You know, we're not we're not retired by any means. We're still we're still growing our organization, our agency, and and uh, and we still have uh, we still have core belief in leading the front. So we're always we're putting our name on applications just like we ask our agents to do so. But folks, it's not a you know again choose your hate, choose choose your hard. Right, working a nine to five, taking crap from a boss, it's not my idea of fun either. And then you can't determine when you're gonna take that, that you work, work your life in there, right? You only have, uh, you have to be at work from eight to five or eight to six or whatever. Right. Um, I, I saw somebody yesterday, we're hiring for telesales, 10 to seven. I go, I'm no, no, sorry, nine to seven. I go, please, there's no way that I'm gonna sit in an office nine to seven to, sell, to, to, to work the phone selling telesales when I could work three days a week Put in, we wrote down 15 to 20 hours on average mm -hmm. and make two to five thousand bucks a week. That's the game, you know. And, and again, it's not only we can guarantee you a hard time, you're still running your own business, and so psychologically, there are inner battles you're going to be fighting all the time to succeed in running your own business. I don't care whether it's insurance business or what kind of business it is. Business owning your own business takes a different set of skills, that's why most people don't do it. But can you do it? Yes, you can. But you got to keep this part together, and that's that yep. may be the biggest challenge. And you have to be realistic. You use the word a couple times. You own your own business. You, this is not a lottery ticket. You don't no. you don't scratch it off, and after two weeks, you know everything is just copacetic. And, and you're not going to do what we do the first autopilot. week. That's that, that that's the key. Yeah. Is you're not. We're, we're telling you things that we're doing. But we worked a long time to get ourselves at this point. Right. We we know how we can we can now do this business on autopilot. I'm not bragging. It's not meant to be bragging. I'm just saying we we, we now we now know the pieces of the puzzles. Right? Angela can have a conversation with somebody in a few minutes, know what they qualify for medically amongst thirty different carriers. It takes time for you to learn that. But can you learn it? Yes. It's especially through our system, you can, if you have the right coach and mentor where you can talk to before, during, or after your appointment. That's the key. That's where training, and not just training. Everybody claims they have training. I'm talking about instant access to somebody like a coach or mentor. Our agents are able to, to, to get Angela on the phone and, and pre-qualify the case before they run it and during the appointment. Right? They, they'll they'll get, on, get on the phone and she'll even talk to the client if necessary. That's the kind of support I think that, any, uh, that anybody that wants to be successful in this business needs to have because it shortens your learning curve and better increases your chance of success. And then you do that for three to six months and you've got 95% of this business in the bag. Yeah. So I said it earlier, I'm gonna say it again. If you're, if you're just looking around, this business is simple guys. It's buy leads, make some, 
dials, uh, book some appointments. However you're gonna do that. We got different ways of doing it ourselves. Set some appointments, run those appointments, write some applications, get paid, rinse and repeat. It's that simple, right? And as far as the leads are concerned, here it is, okay? We call people that have asked us to call them, okay? Because they filled out a lead form, right? We're not making cold calls. It's not, I tell people when, I, when I'm, we're booking appointments. This is not, I'm not a telemarketer and this is not a cold call. I'm responding to a, to a piece that you mailed back to us or you called in, whichever the lead is, right? They know what we do. They want what we have. Now, that doesn't mean the sales automatic. That's your job. That's why you get paid so much. You've got to sell them on the, on, on the, on the product, find the pain, and, and, and provide the solution. And, and, and again, uh, it's, it's that simple. That, that is a business in a, in, in a nutshell. Angela, I'm done. I, I, we're, a, we're nine minutes from where we're at. But again, folks, what other, what, you, you determine your vacations. You determine what days you work. You determine how much money you want to make, right? All you gotta do is show up, follow a proven system, and you can do the exact same thing at whatever level you want, whether that's a thousand bucks a month or a thousand bucks a week, or five thousand bucks a month or five thousand bucks a week. You determine those things by the quantity of leads that you work, and making sure you have the right coach or mentor that is there for you, not just throwing you, sending you some, to some trainings, but will be there before, during, and after the sale. That's my that's my deal, and I'm passionate about it because there's no reason why anybody should fail out of this business as long as you, you can follow instructions, you know how to use a computer, right, and you take action. That's kind of I mean, how, many, how long have you been doing it, Angela? You, the, you, you came from the real estate industry, Right, because you weren't making money over there either. Well, and when you did make money, it was six months to get it. Right. I mean, here you make a sale today, you get paid this week. Right. And so it has, in terms of even just in terms of financially, in terms of our family, it's allowed us to do and begin to segment some of the things that we want to do this year. Because we know that, again, but we put in the time on the front end to be able to start planning for that. So this is not, again, it's not a lottery ticket. You're gonna have to get in here and do the oh, that you. truck. You have to get in and do the work, and you've got to follow. I tell you what, the most frustrating thing, and and if if this is meant for you, then then it's meant for you, and that is you have to follow directions. Yeah. Like you have to follow directions. You can't, and if you have a a hard time retaining a lot of information, then please. Take notes, write stuff down, so that you can go back and do things the way that they are supposed to be done. Here's a question for you: People talk about I, I do a lot of interviewing, as most people know. If you, if you want, if you're interested in coming on board or our agency, you post that you can talk to me. You know, so I talk to a lot of people. You know, there's and even my mom used to say it. There's, you know, you get a job, but you get a job, a job security, job security. Look, folks. That, 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 is, that is a myth. There is no sec job security, no. okay? COVID proved that. You can be fired at any time for any reason. State, federal, yep. private jobs, doesn't matter. There is no job security. But we have our own job security. We oh, created yeah. our job security. I've said it for years before COVID, that my job security is, in, is, in, is me. Yeah. It's, in, it's within my control. Yeah. Because I know if I get leads, make some dials, book some appointments, run those appointments. There's no way that I can go long enough without making a sale before I'm broke. Angela, have you ever gone a month in this business without and made no sales and no money? No. Have you ever gone two weeks? Two weeks, no. Have you ever gone a week? I was just trying to think about that. I've probably had a week here or a week there where, you know, it was just kind of an anomaly and I didn't and I didn't, uh, and I didn't write any apps, but it's pretty rare. It, I would say that it, I, it doesn't happen every month. I mean, that I know. So there's your job no. security. I mean, if you work at a job, you you, you could be fired, be out of a job for for months right. for a new one. I guess what you don't have here is you don't have the ability to join an agency, sit on your duff a week after you get here, do nothing, and get a pay, and collect a paycheck. Well, like yeah. That, if I mean, you're looking for that kind of job if, security, I, I I try to pre-qualify by saying, have you ever gone a month by by in this business when you did the work? I mean, you got to do the work. Right. You got to buy leads every single week. Yeah. You know, and again, how many leads determines how much money you want to make. So no one really has that answer other than you, because I can tell you what the conversion rate is for almost any lead. 
And so if you know the conversion rate, you know how many you need to make to make X amount of dollars. How many you need to buy to make X amount of dollars. Anyways, folks, that's the bottom line is that's why we're unemployable. Because I know that if I, you know, I, I, I'm always going to be able to make money as long as I'm in this business. As long as I show up and do the work. Period. Not here, not here. So, uh... <laughs> we're in, in we're in Orlando now or somewhere. I'm not sure where. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's long enough. Uh, that, I mean, that wasn't even. Yeah, that's that's the breakdown. We had an off week. It was ups and downs. Still closed out, hitting our goal. Made, made put up five thousand bucks. Spent I don't know a couple hundred bucks on leads, and uh, it's all good. Next week we may, we may we'll do the exact same activity next week, and next week maybe better. Instead of doing five thousand, we might do ten thousand. I don't know, uh, but the, but the business works as long as you work. That's the key. And on that note, we're out of here. Bye. See ya.